Hello YouTubers, welcome back. It's MRE Wednesday and this will be the last MRE I'll be doing for a heck of a long time. This is Lithuanian pack menu number one. Um, if you're wondering um, what that, that means there at the top, I'll give you a little tip guys and girls. That means at the top, I don't know if you can see that or not, yeah, see it, see that at the top there, that means dried nutrient nutrition feed ingredients stewed pork with rice 240 grams one piece. So basically that that's what that means at the top there, that that thing there and down there, that's, that's basically what it means. If you're struggling, I'll give you a little tip guys and girls, if you're struggling with the translator, type the actual word in, and then it'll give you the English translation. So there you've got the um, dinner over there, if you can see that, and you're under there you've got the Lithuanian top and the English underneath. Just type, type what, what you see in Lithuanian, and it will translate it for you as you go. So there's a little tip for you. Uh, right, okay, so here we go, menu number one, I never had this. I did plan to go through all ten menus, but unfortunately it didn't work out. This is my own personal stash. I've had this in my car before, I actually took it out before summer started. And um, it's been the boot of my car, so... This is my personal stash. I bought this a long, long time ago. It cost under, uh, I think, about around nine pounds um, off eBay ages ago. So you know, I've not had this one. Um, I would have liked to like to have started with this one, but not going to happen. So um, without further ado, oh, uh, and uh, of course I'm not going to be able to do that. So of course I found my knife, my trusty knife from all sorts. Booyah! Yeah, I found my knife, it was uh, under the sofa, it, it slipped out of my pocket, cause it was in my pocket and it fell down between the cushions. So I thought, I'll just check them, what do you know, there it was, folded up. <laughs> so I'm happy I got my knife back. <laughs> so let's see if it uh, cuts its sucker, shall we? Yeah, it did. It did. Of course, I'll we'll cut this from the back, because I'm going to keep this bag. <clears throat> right then, let's hope that the stuff survived. It was been in my car and it's been all the way down to Swanage in Dorset. <laughs> um, okay, I'll put the bag over there out of the way. Right, so first off the top we have these horrible caraway seed special biscuits or crackers. Of course, there's no way on God's earth my teeth are going to cope with those. I thought about actually giving them to the homeless. I've seen a few homeless people in town. Maybe I should. I've got like four packs of these now. But... There's something I want to do with one pack. I'll, I'll, I'll gladly give the, the, the homeless, you know, some, and some jam as well, if you want to put jam on it. Say, well, these are like the hard biscuits, but, you know, they're, they're pretty good for you. Um, there's something I want to do with a pack of these. It's something pretty special, but I need to get to the event to do it. Um, it's unique. It'll make a great video, I think. Nobody else has done it. So, you know, we'll come back to that another day. All I'll say is watch this space. <laughs> Uh, of course, there's your uh, the old uh, Lithuanian um, stove there. Of course, if you haven't seen the stove, it basically looks like that. And as you know, I, I used it last time, so I've still got the matches. And the... Uh, uh, where are we? And the fuel blocks as well, so we've still got two left. So no point opening that at all. And I'll just keep it in my ration pack, along with another set of matches. Okay, you've got the main meal here. You'll never hear me say the E word, because it's not an E word. It's it's a meal. It's always been a meal. God knows why the uh, Americans adopted that word. I really don't know. I just don't understand it, seriously. Um, so this is, you'll never hear me say that E word, never, because it's always a meal. So that's the way it is. And, of course, you've got the um, instructions and all the info there. I'll keep that. I'm going to read that. And you'll, FRH, which goes off like a steam train, and that tab at the top there to stop it, so you can fold it. And of course, um, this really does get going once it gets going, I tell you. That is lethal. And of course, never breathe it in, people. Don't breathe them in. Uh, got the accessory pack with the usual contents. Come back to that. This should be almonds, maybe. Yep, almonds, just like I thought they would be. Uh, there you go. Almonds, excellent. 
nice set of almonds there. And then you got another accessory pack with my favourite chocolate bar in it. And that's just a company. I actually translated the word chocolate into Lithuanian. And it's I couldn't even pronounce it. <laughs> I, could, I typed it in English, but I couldn't pronounce it. It's, <laughs> it's just a heck of a word, I tell you. But um, unfortunately, I don't have any Lithuanian friends who can do it either. So if you're ever curious, guys, like I said, just type the... Lithuanian into your translator and it will translate it as it goes. So there's a, a good tip for you in case anyone doesn't know that. Right, so this should be sugar if I remember rightly. Yeah, my sugar. 30 grams, wow. Some serious sugar in it. I'll be giving this away to somebody when I, well, I can eventually afford to send away a ration back. It'll be going in there. And you guys, you've got the instructions and... Um, probably contents and stuff like that. I'll come back to that as well because I want to read it. Okay, oh, I dropped it. And uh, this is... I don't actually know. I don't know what that is. I'd say maybe strawberry. Maybe. Let's have a quick translate, shall we? Right, so basically I think that means strawberries. And that's where there, if you can see that, that one there means well-being apparently so I'll come back to that later okay you got the uh, dark chocolate uh, my two favorite dark chocolate bars which I adore it's such a shame I have to open this because I really like to keep out and just munch it whenever I want but uh, we'll have one of those today and I'll put it back in the fridge keep it cool and when I go to this event on Saturday this is coming with me guaranteed so I'm taking a call box I'm taking a call box uh, oh, where are we? Oh no, sorry, that was, that was sugar. This is sugar. That was, so what was that? That's sugar. What's this? It's coffee, isn't it? No, sorry, it's been so long, I've forgotten. Now, I've this is, of course, this is a citrus drink, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably lemon. I forgot, it's been so friggin' long. Uh, what's this? Either a coffee or a tea bag. Black tea, so yeah, there's no coffee. Damn. But we're looking forward to that. So you got black tea. Uh, it's been so long, so long. Even though I watched um, Dave 45 Auto's review, he did Menu 2 last night, so go and check out Dave's channel. He did the Menu 2 version of the Lithuanian, which I liked, which is awesome. Of course, you've got the old shovel type spoon, which he called it, and they're very uh, flimsy. Well, not that flimsy, but, you know, they've got some stiffness there, but you, know, you wouldn't want to, you know, crack that, because it would probably crack quite easily. So that goes on there. Of course, you've got your three fuel tabs for the heater. More matches, so that's now four boxes of matches I've got. <laughs> of course, these do work, so I started a fire uh, last night with one of these. I was going to do the review outside, but it's too windy today, so it'd be... Oh, look at that. Snapped. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, are they crap matches or what? Blimey. That's ridiculous. Well, I must say, he's worked last night. There you go, crap. Lithuanian crap matches. That's what I'm going to call these from now on. That is ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> I, start, I struck it first time last night. Oh, there we go. There we go. So that'd be ideal for starting your fuel tablets, as you've seen me do in one of my other videos. So there you go. So the matches work fine. And you've got your lemon fresh wipe, which I've used on your face. It's very, very nice on a hot day. Use that. Clean your accessories with. And uh, that is it. That is the contents of menu one. No coffee. We've got tea instead. So we'll have tea instead. Black tea. Um, so basically there's going to be a substitution today. Um, as you know, I'm going to keep these. I'm taking one of these out. Not all of them. Just taking one out. Uh, for my experiments, but to do it, like I said, I've got to get to that event. So what we'll do, we'll substitute the crackers for crisp breads I got out of my local supermarket. The same as the Polish rations, so we'll have two crisp breads instead. And I had these with chicken pate from our supermarket, it was awesome, very nice. So we'll, we'll use those crisp breads instead of these horrible tank tracks, which will just break my teeth. 
and I just don't have a chomp to chomp through them. So, anyway, so let's get out to a tree. Oh, of course, there's a typhoon going back, back in to base. I oh, can't see it, but I know he's up there. Right, uh, okay, so what we'll do, we'll skip the video because it's going to take another five minutes, and that's another five minutes of video. I'll do this off camera and. Um, it's just, it'll, it'll just save time basically, won't it? The time's going to get on and on and on. So we all know how the how you do. Just go down, you go down the bottom there, see that squiggly line above the uh, not to be eaten? That's where you fill the water to. This does kick off big time. So I'll do that off camera, that'll save five minutes. Of course, you've got the 100 grams worth of food, which is just enough food. Thank God it's not any more than 100 grams, because that'd be quite filling otherwise. So it's a nice sort of like dinner 240 grams sorry uh yeah 240 grams yeah uh 240 grams there and date is 2019 that runs out so this will keep for another year no problems right then we'll do the frh get this sorted out right there we go so it's all folded over so we'll now activate it Where's the box? Where's the box? There it is. So we'll try and stuff that back in. I say try. Or something explodes. It gets real hot real quick. There you go. So bang that in there. And we'll always... Right, so let's put that over there. Oop. And we'll come back. Um, I was in the hospital yesterday, I had laser eye surgery on my left eye. It was a pain in the butt, and you know how much I hate laser eye surgery, right? I uh, went to the cafe after, it's got a handful of pepper. There you go. Now cooking. Handful of pepper. <laughs> so basically, we'll have a pepper with this today, because I think it will probably deserve it. So we'll just pick one of those. Got loads there to have. The FRH is now cooking. So we'll let that do its thing. We'll come back in about 10 minutes or so. Right then, okay, we're on with the almonds then. Which I've not had, I'm really looking forward to these, I love almonds, they're awesome. Oh. oh. There you go, <laughs> go everywhere, blimey. Right, okay, that's that then. Chocolate bar, my favourite chocolate bar, where's my knife? Bloom there, but oh, I've got the smell of dark chocolate, man. It's just awesome. It's been the boot of my car since basically last year, I think. I think, right? So, you've got a citrus drink to make up. We'll do that now. And the FRH is steaming away like a good one. Have a look. Okay, you see that? Boom! <laughs> Explosion. Right, okay, so we'll do the citrus drink then. Should probably be lemon, a rough guess. Probably, probably lemon. So, uh, let's uh, hear me uh, whistling one of Kylie's tunes, Kylie Minogue. <laughs> yeah, it looks like lemon. It's just playing on my radio. You know that thing where you got, you hear a song, and you can't get it out of your head. Well, that's what's that's what's happened basically. <laughs> that's what's happened. Right then, uh, a spoon, I'll give that a stir around. God, that FRO just got like a steam train. I should, um, like I said, I've always said that the Lithuanians should uh, do a deal with the English on the uh, FRH, or America, or I think it was America actually I was on about, with the FRH and use their FRH because they're a hell of a lot better. Really do get hot real quick. Right, okay. We'll come back. Stick that over there. Right then, so uh, we've got the wipe on standby. I've used it before, they're very nice. I've got one in my Russian bag. Uh, tea. Oh, we've got that tea bag. Oops. Ooh, we've got the tea bag. Bummer. So 
so we'll get that black tea out then. Right. <coughs> I was actually looking forward to having a coffee. I do like the Lithuanian coffees, so we've got a tea bag there. Look. So we'll just go and get that sorted out. Okie dokie. Alright, so my favourite class 50 locomotive. 50025. Um, right, pour the hot water in. And we'll give that a bit more. Give that about four minutes. It's about standard time you should leave a tea bag in there, four to five minutes. If you want a stronger tea, leave it in there for longer. Right then, so it's snack time. So, let's have some of these almonds, which I've not had before. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, and, um... Got some bought crisp bread and the jam, <laughs> which, uh, which I of course forgot to do. Just remembered, right? Okay, yeah, almonds, um, dry, um, I like the sort of husk on it, the skin, but believe it or not, there's only a slight taste of almond. Or almond, depends where you're from, obviously. It's probably quite strong, wouldn't you? It's not. It's got a very sort of light, gentle almond taste to the nuts. That's crazy. I was having them be sort of quite potent. Well, I'd, I'd happily just walk along and eat that bag as I'm going along. If I had that for dinner, I'd be out on the tray or whatever, or eat it straight out of the bag. You know, they're, they're nice, you know. They're really, really nice. But... A little bit dry, but otherwise okay. Right then, let's get this jam open if we can. I think it's strawberry jam. Of course, it's got no nails. Yeah, it's that basic laser eye surgery I had. Uh, it wasn't that painful this time. It was a totally different hospital, like 64 miles away this hospital was. But it was a lot less painful than my local hospital. So I actually thank the doctor. <laughs> I thank the doctor after he'd finished lasering my eyes. Right, yeah, it's strawberry jam, yeah. So there we go, that's going to be awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's, not, it's a real nice smell of strawberries, though. Oh, I like smell of strawberries. Right, okay, we'll do that now then. While well, the dinner's cooking, this should be the dessert along with the chocolate bar. So I'll skip some of this uh, jam out. There we go. Of course, you could eat that as well. But uh, it's just saying the Lithuanians didn't do a deal with the Polish, the suppliers of the Polish um, crisp breads, because that would have been a great deal, wouldn't it? That would have been awesome. Look at that, strawberry jam. Oh, what a great dessert. That would go well with the tea. Really well with a cup of tea. This one will crumble up into, will break half off and crumble it up into the meal, try a bit of texture. So just try a bit of this jam. I'm just curious. Just got to try this. Yeah, that's real nice. That is real nice. Mmm. Lightly sweet. Very nice. You definitely want to eat that as well. Out of the pot. That is very, very nice. Mmm. Yum. <laughs> right, chocolate bar, please don't be stuck together. No, it isn't. I can't believe it survived in my car. In the bottom of the tray and underneath. It went everywhere with me. You know, in case you break down, you've got, you got a supply of food. I always carry water on board. Like I said before, well, you know, it's, it's had to have a ration pack in your car if you need it, you know. But fortunately, this will be the last ration pack I do, so I've got another cash coming in. But I am selling stuff on eBay to try and raid, but unfortunately, the downside is my, in, my, my model engine sold for £131. It's a diesel poor um, tomboy engine, it's sold for £131. Unfortunately, I've got car tax, and that's basically going to wipe my wipe it out really, uh, it's cost £77, plus I've got two shows coming up as well, so, and the fuel, obviously, so all that money I've got just come, is basically going to disappear, so that's why I'm not buying any more rations, I can't afford it, 
Right then, let's have a quick look at his tea. Meal's at 10 minutes now, which is more than enough time for this. Where's that uh, string? Just grab that string. Oh, spilled a little bit there. There we go. A quick squeeze. Even though it's a little bit hot, but never mind, it doesn't matter. All right, tea bag, you've done your job. Thank you very much. Awesome. All right, there we go, black tea. Of course, thanks to... Uh, Oh, so that really deserves some milk, man. <laughs> That's just crying out for some creamer, I tell you. But thanks to Lithuanian ration and maybe the Polish, I, I now drink black tea. There's another plane going over. I'm not sure what that is, maybe a King Air or a Tucano. No, it's Tucano. It's a Tucano. Recognise that sound anyway. Right, okay. I'll try some of this citrus. Yep, yeah, lemon. Oh yeah, that's real nice. Oh yeah, that hits the spot. You definitely want to combine that with the, the starter. Mmm, that's real nice. It's got that zingy texture. Oh, I'm sorry, taste. Got that zingy taste to it. That's real good. I like that. Mm -mm -mm. That's not a pretty, um, not, not a bad ration, is it really? Not bad at all for menu one. Not done with these in a heck of a long time. Mmm. Nice almond starter. Start your meal off. Excellent. And if I edge is petered out, but I can tell you that is really hot. If you had some sort of cake or a pop tart, you could put that in there. You know, if you have one like spare knocking about, you could put that in the FRH. That'd be awesome when it come out of there. Awesome. Mmm mmm mmm. Yeah, I like these. Oops. Right then, dinner is ready. So take that out of the uh, box. Take the uh, plastic strip off. Try to get the meal out. My mind is terrible. Go down. It'll let me do that. It. It's um, still pretty hot. I can assure you. If you had uh, also a um, a um, spare. Um, Beverage bay, you can make up your, your coffee or tea in that. Just that is so so freaking hot. Wow, it's amazing. Right then, okay. So does this have a rip thing at the top? Yes, it does. Let's just put that down there. The last one I had um, pork related smell like sausages. <sighs> yeah, there we go. Ripped very easily. Excellent. There we go. Of course, another fly comes in. What a surprise. Uh, of course. All right, let's have a smell. And funnily enough, so does that one. It smells just like sausages. So basically that pork smells just like freaking sausages. Of course, there are other ingredients in here, but, um, you know, I don't have time to translate it all. But I just want to have dinner. This is my this is my dinner today, MRE Wednesday. My last MRE Wednesday. Next week there'll be something uh, completely different and non-MRE related. Oh yeah, it's like a real sort of creamy texture to it. Not what I was expecting. That is not what I was expecting. There are herbs in there. Maybe onion, possibly garlic. God knows what else. That is very nice. Look at that big chunk. Look at some veggies there, some sort of veg. But without translating, I wouldn't know what they are really. But let's have some black pepper. And why they don't have salt and pepper in their rations defies all knowledge, seriously. There we go, some black pepper. That add uh, something to it, I'm sure. But this is a really nice dinner. I thought this video is probably going to run over 30 minutes at a rough guess. But this you really want on a cold day or after a long day. It's real, real good. Mm. They all either sort of beef, chicken, or pork. Most of their um, ration packs always along that line. But you're never disappointed with a Lithuanian meal ever. Never ever disappointed. Oh, so smooth. Just dissolves in your mouth that pork. 
Wow. Wish the British Army would do something like this. It's freaking awesome. Another jet inbound. Price you pay for living on a flight path of the RF. <laughs> Of course, I love jets anyway, so it's all good for me. Mmm, that's so nice. It's really sort of smooth and creamy. That pork. Right, let's add a bit of texture oh, to this. Just want to crack that up. So, you know, they should have done a deal with the Polish suppliers of the um, crisp breads and put crisp breads in their meals instead just like a flat pack some sort of flat pack type thing with about three or four or something uh, mm, that's a rice yeah as, as you know it's, it has rice as well as pork and rice but there's a lot of, sort of herbs and stuff and veg of some description Mmm, that's real good. That is really good. Wow. And another fly comes in. Isn't that amazing? Eh? Can't even open the door or window. I have to have the window shut all summer. The friggin' flies come in. It's ridiculous. <sighs> right, that's some more of that uh, lemon. It's really nice. That is really nice. I've always liked those. Got crisp bread there, but a good texture. Mmm. I like the sauce, that sauce as well with this. The leftover. That's pretty good. Mmm. Of course, you can add a few um, almonds if you so wish. Do it a little bit more texture. Really nice. So I had uh, put some right, uh, beef on it here. Uh, sorry, beef. Uh, pork. Get it right. Concentration. So put some pork on the crisp bread. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty good. I should have really done a deal with the suppliers. That is real good. Mm mm mm. Mm. Oh man, that's awesome. Wow. Very nice. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yum. Mm. That's a nice little dinner, I tell you. Very impressed with that. That's really nice. Got a nice taste to it. Herbs. Like I said, maybe onion and garlic, possibly. But that is very, very nice. So it always tastes like sausages, you know. <laughs> Which is awesome because I love it. Right, I'll finish this up and let's uh, go on with something else. Oh, that was fantastic. I enjoyed every single spoonful of that. Yum, yum, yum. Highly recommended for number one. Oh, especially with that lemon drink. That was really nice. Quite strong too. Got some last some uh, almonds. Before we carry on. Mmm. Real nice, very, very nice. Don't really need this. I did a ration review. If you want to search for it, you'll see me use this uh, lemon. I want to put this in my ration pack and keep it. I've got one, so I like, would like two because you never know we're going to need them. You see, I've got others as well, but they are pretty good. Mm. I like those almonds, very nice. 
Very nice. Right. Okay, let's, let's go with this strawberry jam then. And my idea to put crisp breads in from the Polish ration. I'm oh, sorry, from our local supermarket. Right, here we go then. Yeah, you can taste, actually taste strawberry jam over the crisp bread. If, uh, if you have the means, highly recommend putting crisp bread or ha with your honey or, or jam or whatever. If you have the means. But that is pretty good. Got a real nice strawberry, sweet sort of strawberry taste to it. That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Mmm. Oh man, that's awesome. So much better than those silly tank tracks. Well, of course, the Lithuanians call them teeth breakers. Mmm, let's have some, let's have some tea. <sighs> Black tea. Which is just crying out for milk, I'm telling you. It's nice though. Nice sort of strong, uh, very strong tea. But it does need milk, in my view. I'll definitely put a whitener into that, no problem. But no, it's, you know, right, it's a black tea. Quite a nice blend. But crisp bread and strawberry jam is a perfect combination. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh, it's a, the taste of strawberry in your mouth after you've had that is awesome. And if you just eat it straight out of the tub, it'd be awesome. Yeah, black tea's not bad. Not bad, but in my view, needs whitener. Right then, on my favourite chocolate bar. I should be munching on this for the rest of the week. I'll put it back in the fridge so it stays nice and cool. And on Saturday, when I go to that event, it will be coming with me. Again. Mmm. Yeah, they're a nice, um, it's got a nice percent of coca in there. It's a lot less than 70. It's definitely a lot less than 60. I'll say about 40 or 50 percent. But it's nice. As a dessert bar after having tea, you want to finish that after you had your tea. Have that with the tea or coffee. But it just coats your mouth with dark chocolate. It's awesome. My taste buds are loving it. I'm a big fan of dark chocolate. Oh yeah, man, that's awesome, seriously. I've always liked these, these bars. So, always. i buy the little weighted pack just to have one. Right then. I'm not going to swig some tea down. I'll just let that, uh, that taste of dark chocolate coat my mouth for a, what, a bit longer. Right, so we'll go with the almonds then. Almonds, very nice. Um, got a nice sort of dry husk to them. Uh, a very light taste of almonds, but very crunchy as well. They're, they're, they're great for you. Awesome. Dark chocolate bar, awesome, 50-50, no, sorry not 50, 10 out of 10 I mean, uh, 10 out of 10 for that, 10 out of 10 for that, 10 out of 10, and 10 out of 10 for that, that's awesome as well, tea, 10 out of 10, drink, 10 out of 10, the only thing is a 10 out of 10, highly recommend for menu one, uh, if you can substitute the tank tracks for Chris Bread's do it, because the strawberry jam is absolutely fantastic, I'm telling you, you would want to eat that out of the pot, or on Chris Bread's or tank tracks if you Got a strong enough of teeth. Um, a citrus drink, like I said, very z uh, sort of zingy. Got a real nice sort of smell of lemon to it. Oh, it's awesome. Can't go wrong with them. Tea, black tea, needs milk in my view. Nice blend of tea. Don't know what blend that is, but it's very, very nice. So a quick sip, but that'll make your day, seriously, after a long day. And uh, lemon fresh. Always on to a winner with these. It'll cool you down on hot weather. And the main meal, fantastic, mega, mega, 10 out of 10 for that. I would have this pack again and again and again. That's how good it was. I'd gladly buy another just store it back in the car over winter. <laughs> well, you know, I want to get this money sorted out with the DWP and crap, but... Uh, but yeah, it was nice and creamy, smooth, just dissolved in your mouth. It had a nice sort of, sort of sausage taste to it. Um, there's some herbs in there, some rice. Um, God knows what else. Even the sort of sauce, juice, or whatever, it was awesome. You know, the whole meal gets a big thumbs up for menu one. Highly recommended. 
Well, I'm going to enjoy eating the rest of this for, you know, thing here. But get menu one, guys. Give it a try. I highly rate it, big time. It's well worth it. And I'm happy with the results. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, thanks for all my comments. I will get back to you guys in my last video. I haven't yet, but, you know, I've got, been doing things and stuff. But I will reply to you, every one of you. Um, those who will get a like, will just get a like instead. Uh, that, thanks. <laughs> Excuse me. God, blimey. Where'd that come from? But um, this will be the last Russian Pack review you'll see from me for a while. Um, next Wednesday, there'll be something different. It's something not MRE related. It's just something different. So it should make a good video, in my view. Um, but also, this Saturday, I won't be here, so there'll be no snack Saturday. I'll roll it over to the following week. So you guys have to wait um, for another week to see the snack review, which will be the last snack review as well, as far as I know, um, from America anyway. Right, that's it, I'm off. Also, I've got my knife, excellent, yay. Fantastic, love that thing. Right, that's it, I'm gonna go and finish, polish this lot off, and um, yeah, just rest for the day again. Um, okay, bye from me, thanks for watching. Please like, sub subscribe. <laughs> thanks for all the new subs as well, I appreciate that guys. And, um, you know, we'll try and keep it going, but without money, you, you can't buy rations, you know. It's, it's just, DDP just cut you off dead. Ridiculous. Boo! Right, okay, bye-bye. Cheers. See you next Wednesday. And thanks for watching.